And I started to write uh, what I, I'm now called the grandmother of Hinglish, which is Hindi and English combined. At that point, uh, I really didn't know that it would uh, create some kind of a literary storm, but it did. It was uh, street speak. I mean, it was Mumbai. Yeah. It was the way we all spoke in Mumbai. And Mumbai is a melting pot. So you have the way we speak uh, English or Hindi or Gujarati or Marathi. All the languages we speak in Mumbai are bastardized languages. So you know what Salman yeah. Rushdie calls the, long, the argot of Bombay, Hugmi, H-U-G-M-E, Hindi, Urdu, Gujarati, Marathi, English. <laughs> How? Well, yes. So it's... Uh, it's one of those cities where unless you speak Bambaya, you're not going to be understood. And I like the idea of, uh, of using slang and street speak because there are certain, we, uh, we are not living, it's not, we are not Jane Austen ke chelas and chelis that we have to write in that Queen's English and King's English, which is outdated even in England. So I started to write in this very chatty style, which I continue to do when I need to and want to. And then people would comment that it's, a, it's such a pity because I guess this uh, poor lady doesn't really know how to string a grammatically correct sentence in English. So she keeps using these Hindi words and Marathi words and soon it became mainstream. I mean, the Times of India had headlines using those very same words. Amul ads. Amul ads, the advertising community totally changed Absolutely. and started using English. And uh, Bollywood has always used it and now more so than ever. And I just feel that language is something so fluid and so beautiful, and it's not written in stone. It has to evolve, it has to change. It's like a river that's constantly in motion, and it's always picking up words from the banks of where it flows. And otherwise, it becomes static.